Hi, I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on combinations and Pascal's triangle. Question number one. Ben lives seven blocks east and five blocks south of Anil. Anil wants to visit Sam's place, which is four blocks east and two blocks south of his house and then go to Ben's house. How many possible ways can he go while traveling only east and south? I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's make this uh, sketch kind of a thing, right? So we are looking for seven blocks east and five blocks south. So let me make a big sketch. Seven blocks east, so we'll make seven squares. One, two, three, four, five six seven right so that is seven blocks east and then five blocks south so one two three four five so these rows and columns will give us a number of blocks and we can actually calculate the number of rows from here let us say Anil starts from here. Ben lives 7 east and uh, 5 blocks south. So this is Ben B. Now here we have a condition which says Anil wants to visit Sam's place which is 4 blocks east and 2 blocks south. So that means 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks east, 1, 2. So that place. So Anil wants to visit Sam. Let's call this S and then go to Ben's place. Now if that is the condition, then how many total possible paths are there? That is the question for you. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin by counting the number of paths. So if we go only east, there will be one, 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 then Anil has to turn so that means one likewise come in this direction one and one since anil can only travel east and south we kind of stop here right and now let's see the possible paths and combination using pascal's triangle concept so one plus one is two two plus one is three three plus one four four plus one five right now this way, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, right? Okay. Now, now from here, now he has to depart to get to Ben's place. So from here, going east will be 15, 15, and 15. And south also, if he continues to go south, it'd be kind of 15, 15, and 15. But this way, we get more number of paths. 15 plus 15 is 30. 30 plus 15 is 45. 45 plus 15 will give us 60. Adding these two will give us 45. 45, 45 is 90. 90, 60 is 150. And then here we get 45, 15 as 60. 60, 90 is 150. And when you add these two, what you get is 300. So the total number of paths is 300. So that is the answer. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. And that is how we can calculate. Now, let me change the question, right? So, so this is scenario A, where Anil wants to visit Sam's place. And let's say scenario B is that Anil wants to avoid Sam's place, right? Rest thing same, and he wants to go to Ben's place, right? So how many paths? So that is the question for you to work out, and that is the real test question for you, right? So how many paths are now possible if Anil wants to avoid Sam's place, right? So not go there, but anywhere else. Traveling east and south, right? So that is a question for you. And here is a hint. If I have to calculate total number of paths from A to B without restrictions, let me give you 
a very important formula uh, without restrictions then the total number of paths will be uh, 7 and 5 are the blocks so it will be 7 plus 5 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 5 factorial right so that's a general formula which we can use when we are talking about such movement along the blocks in two direction without restriction right so from a to b total number of paths are these many correct so well so that's a hint for you and i hope now you can easily solve this question thank you and all the best